Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is me again, Teacher Tin May. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science Day. Samahan niyo ulit ako at i-continue natin ang ating discussion about seismic waves. In our previous discussion, we discussed about the main types of seismic waves. So we have the body wave and we have the surface wave. And under the body wave, we have the P wave and we have the S wave. And under the surface wave, we have the lab wave and also the Rayleigh wave. So in this lesson vlog, we're going to discuss and we're going to perform a simple science experiment wherein we can fully understand about the seismic wave. So, samahan niyo ulit ako at tara na mag-explore muna tayo. In our first activity, we're going to prepare a basin with a half-filled water and a stone. Okay, so bago natin i-perform tong activity na to, so meron tayong tatlong question na kailangan nating sagutin at gusto ko na masagot niyo muna ito bago ko sabihin ang tamang sagot. Okay. So, first question is, what happens when you drop the stone in the water? Number two, what causes the ripples to form? And number three, how far does the ripple continue? Okay, so let us prepare a, a basin and a half-filled water and also a stone. So the first thing that we have to do is to drop this stone in this basin and let us observe what happened in the surface of the water. When the stone drops into the water, it forms ripples. The ripples form as the water molecules oscillate in a small circle. Now, how far does the ripple continue? The ripples continue when the amplitude of the ripple will drop with a factor proportional to the square root of the perimeter of the expanding wave front. It is explained by the fact that the energy that created the wave came from a point where the rock dropped and as time goes by, this energy gets spread over a larger and larger circumference. Remember class, that the vibrations are properly called the seismic waves. As these seismic waves travels along the body of the Earth, they behave in different ways depending on what they encounter along the way. Okay now, in our next activity, so let us prepare a 12 inches ruler. So yung elastic ha. But since I do not have any ruler at home, hindi ko alam kung bakit wala akong ruler. So I'll be using protractor since elastic din naman to and I think this is 6 inches if I'm not mistaken. Okay, basta ito na yung gagamitin ko para i-demonstrate sa inyo yung gagawin natin sa activity na to. So the first uh, instruction is let us hold the protractor at both ends. So kung may ruler kayo sa inyo, so kuha niyo isang ruler and then hawakan niyo sa magkabilang dulo. Okay then, let us hold the ruler horizontally and then bend it. So ipe-bend natin ng pag ganito. Okay, the first question is Nararamdaman niyo ba na yung both ends ng ruler ay parang tinutulak yung kamay niyo? Yes or no? Kasi ako oo. Okay, bakit? Yes. So that is yes because that push is the energy. At saan ba nang galing yung energy na yun? That energy is stored in the bend ruler. Kasi naka-bend siya so parang naipon yung energy niya dun sa both end. So parang ang tendency, ang pakiramdam ko, tinutulak niya yung kamay ko. Okay, now let us try to release one end of this protractor. Okay, so i-release i-release naman natin yung one end. Okay, anong nangyari? So, na-straighten siya, no? So, natuwid ulit. Bakit? So, pwede natin sabihin na yung ruler or yung protractor is elastic siya because it goes it, it goes back to its original uh, original form. Okay, next. I-bend, i-try ulit natin na i-bend yung ruler natin or yung protractor. Okay? So, ano kaya yung na-stored dito sa magkabilang dulo ng ating ruler or ng ating protractor? Okay, that is the energy. So, the energy, energy is gain stored in the bent 
ruler or protractor. So, yun yun. Okay, next. While keeping a tight grip on our right hand, so let us try to rule, to release our left hand. So, tanggalin naman natin quickly. Okay. So, what happened? As you can observe, the ruler or the protractor vibrates as it snaps out to its original position. So, para bang nag-vibrate siya nung, pag, nung nabitawan na natin siya at bumalik sa original position. So, ang ibig sabihin lamang nun is na-release din natin yung stored energy. Okay, this time, we're going to create a simple science experiment wherein we're going to create a wave box that demonstrates how the earthquake, how the earthquake waves can travel through through a, var a variety of materials, okay? So, meron tayong inihanda dito mga ating materials na meron tayong string. So, wala akong ibang string. So, gusto ko, sabayan nyo ko sa paggagawa nito sa inyong bahay. So, meron tayong string. Meron tayong box. So, wala akong box na nakita, kundi box ng sapatos. Okay, meron din tayong gagamitin na paper clip at saka paper, paper clip ulit. Magkaiba lang ang size. Okay, ngayon, so, ang kailangan natin gawin is bubutasan natin yung magkabilang dulo para doon natin ikakabit itong ating string. So, since wala rin akong pambuta, so gagamitin ko na lang siguro itong aking puncher para butasan yung ito. Hindi ko siya mabutasan. So, hindi ko pala kaya ng puncher. So, ito na lang. Ayan. Nabutasan na natin siya. So, ipapasok natin itong string natin dito. So, ganun yung magiging itsura yan. So, kailangan na sobrang stretch natin yung, yung ating string. Ano? So, gamit tayo ng paper clip na lagi. Gamitin natin yung paper clip dito sa ilalim para yun yung magsiserve as yung pinakaano niya sa ilalim. So, daw, ano sinasabi ko? Ayan. So, ganito yung ginawa ko. Para pag hinigit natin siya, yun, ay parang, parang epic yung ginawa ko. Ako yung ginawa So, nasa diskarte nyo na yun kung paano nyo itatali yung paper clip. So, ilang paper clip bang kailangan natin dito? Kailangan natin na uh, Lima sa loob, tapos dalawa doon sa top and bottom ng ating box. Yan. So, itinali ko lang siya ng paganto. And then, para pag hinigit natin ito sa ilalim, so, ayan, nakaganan siya. No? So, parang pinakalak niya. And then, ito naman kabilang side. So, kuha ulit tayo ng isa pang paper clip at itali ulit natin siya doon. Kung nahihirapan kayo, so pwede naman pala na kung medyo mahaba yung tali nyo, i-ano nyo na lang doon sa dulo, nung, sa dulo, nung butas, tapos saka ulit natin siya itali ng super heat pen. Okay, nakakreate na tayo. And then, lagyan naman natin siya ng paper clip sa loob. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng 4 to 5 paper clips. So, ilalagay natin siya dito. Ayan. So, ito yung, mga, ito yung finished product natin. Ayan. Ngayon, ang sabi dito, okay. Okay, so, after placing 4 to 5 paper clips on the string inside the box. So, we're going to place the box on a table or some other objects where you can strike it to make it vibrate. Okay, so, titignan natin kung magbabibrate siya. And then, okay, and then, we're going to move our box to another surface. And then, we're going to see if you can make the paper clips vibrate on these surfaces. Okay, and then, we can change the experiment by using different thickness of the string. So, pwede natin pakapalin pa yung strings. Or pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng uh, different size of paper clips. So, hahanap lang tayo ng place kung saan pwede natin i-vibrate ito. So, tara, samahan niyo ako. Yan. So, naglipa tayo dito sa kusina. At meron tayong table dito. So, ipapatong natin itong ating model. 
model ng ating earth weight. Tapos, tingnan natin kung magbabibrate ba siya kung in-strike natin itong table. So, tingnan muna natin kasi medyo mahamin yata. Okay, so tingnan natin. Isa pa. Okay, so pag lumalakas, lalong nagagalaw. Ano yung ating ang ating ng ato paper clips. So, yan yung nangyayari sa earthquake. So, kapag nagkaroon ng paggalaw dito sa sa lupa, so yung fault line nagagalaw din siya. No, sa yung tendency na nagkakaroon ng vibration. Isa pa. Okay, try naman natin siyang ilipat. Ginagawa mo! Based from the experiment that we did and conducted, what will happen to the paper clips if you have struck the table hard enough? Of course, the paper clips will move due to the sudden vibration. Now, why does vibrations create sound? Okay, it creates sound because sound waves are formed when a vibrating object causes the surrounding medium to vibrate. This wave box that we created is a good example or a good model that demonstrates how earthquake waves can travel through a variety of materials as they travel away from the focus of an earthquake where the rocks first rupture. Remember that all earthquakes produce P waves and S waves. P waves travel through solids, liquids, and gases. In this simple science experiment, you see how P waves travel through different solids, causing paper clips on a string to vibrate. This is the end of our lesson vlog about this topic about seismic waves at itong mga activity na pinakita ko sa inyo. Sana gawin nyo rin yan sa inyong mga bahay para mas lalo nyong uh, maintindihan at kayo mismo ang mag-experiment nitong mga topic na ito. Okay, sana may natutunan kayo sa lesson vlog na ito. At maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Thank you all sa mga estudyante dyan na struggling pero nagsisika para mas maunawaan at maintindihan ang lesson. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned on this channel. Siyempre, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell para mas updated ka pa sa mga science vlog na ipopost natin sa channel na ito. This is me again, Teacher Tin May. Siyempre, ang kasama mo sa iyong science journey. Thank you! Okay, thank you for listening. See you on my next vlog. Sama-sama ulit tayo hanggang dulo. Thank you! Bye! Mag-subscribe ka na!